Hi, health teachers. I'm Jen Mead, and today I want to share with you a really easy way to transform that old drug research project into a new code breaking challenge. What you're seeing on the screen is a reinvention of a really old slideshow, and I'm sure you have one of these in your files somewhere where you have the name of the drug followed by a description, long-term, short-term effects, other useful information. All I did was scramble up that information and make it look a little better so that I have all the descriptions of the drugs lined up first, followed by all the drug names. Students work in teams to do this code-breaking challenge. Essentially, they're reshuffling the slides into the correct order so that it reads the description and then the correct drug that's being described. So they read the descriptions and then they're able to reposition all of these slides so that they have matched up um, each drug with its description. And as they do this, they are going to uncover a two word phrase. This is the code that they're trying to break. Now they may or may not know this information, so I always proceed this lesson with a quick mini lesson on finding valid sources of health information. So once they've reshuffled the slides and gotten them into the correct order, they take those code letters and they spell out a phrase. They spell out the phrase. Students then answer the question, how does that two word phrase protect you from the dangers of alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs? So they start reflecting on responsible decision making. In order to bring in that skill of accessing valid sources of health information, students not only need to restart the, sort the slides, but they have to verify the information in the description. So to prove that this information is actually about alcohol, I have to find a valid source of health information and then copy and paste the URL right into that slide. This gets students engaged and it takes up a lot less time than that drug research project, not to mention how easy it is to grade. So I can simply look at this work, check out the URLs that they've linked to be able to figure out if my students can actually access valid and reliable sources of health information. It's a simple yes, no question. Similarly, if the students have reshuffled the slides into the correct order and gotten the correct code words, my choices, I know that they've correctly matched the information with the correct drug, demonstrating their understanding of alcohol and drug facts. This is a simple, easy, and fun way to transform that old drug research project into something that takes less time, involves functional knowledge and skills, and is easier to grade. If you want to see the whole lesson, feel free to check out the link at the bottom of this post.